How to shoot a senior presentation. What is a senior presentation? It is usually done at the senior game. The senior game is the last home game for that sport. So it is also the last home game for the seniors. And the seniors are recognized by the team. What to shoot? Posters, the presentation, the senior with their parents, various group pictures, and then finally you have to organize the files. Posters. Ideally, the posters would have the player's jersey number, which makes it a lot easier to organize. In the case of some, like top left, there is no jersey number, so it becomes a little more difficult to organize the pictures at least to match up the poster to the players. Presentation. As shown in this slide, each of the sports does their senior presentation in their own way. At our school, the exception is football, cheer, and dance. They do a combined senior presentation at the senior football game. Because they all do their presentations differently, I recommend that you get pictures of the prior year's presentations to give you an idea of what to expect. It's a lot easier to shoot a presentation when you know what to expect than going in blind. Get a picture of the senior with the parents and family. Get a picture of them with the coach. Not all teams will do this. Group pictures, headgear, with or without the helmet or hat. Take a look at the pictures on the left. Top picture, football players with their helmet on. Can't see their faces. Bottom picture, with the helmet off. You can see their faces. What about baseball? Take a look at the picture on the top right. Not baseball. But still, she's wearing a visor. Her eyes are in the deep shadow of the visor. You can barely make out the eyes. So, is that what you want for your group picture? Problem is, a picture like this is a lose-lose situation. You, have to, you lose because the face, the eye is in the shadow. But the face, the lower face, is properly exposed. If you try and lighten the sh shadow so you can see her eyes, her face will go white and blow out. So the exposure would be wrong. So a situation like this is basically a lose-lose. Bottom right, that's one re way how you deal with this. Instead of the sun coming from their front, and look at the shadow on the ground. The sun is coming basically from their back. So their whole front, the face and body, is in the shadow. So the exposure is for the shadow. Group pictures. And we recommend that you shoot them in this order. First the seniors, then the seniors and coaches, then the seniors and the rest of the team, and finally, the seniors and the parents. The logic is, if you can only get a single group picture, just get the seniors. Once you get to a big group like the seniors and parents, when that picture is taken, it is difficult to get any of the other pictures. So put that picture at the end. For the seniors, Four examples of senior group pictures. Bottom right, this is just a shot with their helmets on. We also have a picture with their helmets off. The idea on something like this is you shoot both and then pick whichever one you want. Seniors and the coaches, take note of two pictures. Top right, cheer seniors. Bottom left, football seniors. The cheer seniors were taken 
after the senior presentation at night. The football seniors were taken in the afternoon while the JV game was playing. The football coach did not want to in extend the time for the picture taking, so he shot it. Sep we shot that one separately. So you can separate the pictures of the seniors from the actual ceremony. Seniors and the rest of the team. Take note, picture top right. That was shot on a different day than the, the senior presentation. Like the situation with the football players, where we shot the football team before the senior game, the dance team was shot on a separate day because we just did not have time to get all three senior teams shot. So you not you don't have to do it on the same day as the, as the presentation, but it would help. Parents and seniors, this is going to be your biggest shots because of the addition of the parents and families to the seniors. So you need to be aware that you may have to either use a very wide lens, pull back far enough to get the wide shot, or in the case of that middle picture, it was three pictures stitched together. Then on the computer, you need to prepare for the web. You can make a composite picture with the parents. I do, I do this only if there is a small number of seniors. In this case, just four. I would not do this with like nine or 10. Organize the files by senior. If you notice here, this is a composition of many pictures. You've got top left, their poster. Right of that is another poster. Right of that is the presentation of that player, number zero. To put all those files together in one place so it's not scattered, the first two positions of the file name is their jersey number. So in this case, 00. zero. That puts all of zero's number zero's pictures together. Same thing. Now we go to 01, which is Allie. Her poster, her shirt poster, and her presentation. Then 05, Natalie, same thing. So this puts all their pictures together. They and their parent just have one place to go. They're not looking at pictures scattered all over the files. Then the group pictures. Like I said before, you may not be able to get all the group pictures on the list, but you get as many as you can. And any other pictures that happen after the actual presentation. And these are the fun ones with team teammates getting together, families getting around their senior, and other people taking pictures. The end. Please like and subscribe.